And look, it's her first like Valentine's gift from her dad. Um, Rare Disease Day is later this month. So random, but like I love this so much. I've worn this literally so many times. Okay. Hello, good morning. I don't know if I've officially started this vlog or not, but if not, here we are starting the vlog, giving you a little postpartum update. The abs are slowly making their way back. We've been working real hard on our fitness and our nutrition and seeing the results. I'm already sweating. Can we take a second for this sports bra? Look at the back. How cute. It's all that. So cute. So, Valentine's Day is this week, and I made the cutest little holiday, little like fun basket for Cole. I was like, haven't done these always, just because obviously he was like kind of too young to enjoy them until this year. So now I'm so excited to do like the Halloween baskets and the Valentine's baskets, and of course Easter and all that. Well, we've always done Easter baskets, but I'm kind of like throwing in the other holiday baskets now. So this is his Valentine's one, um, but like I just don't want to. <laughs> fully unpack it for y'all but I did film a reel as I was putting this together so I'm gonna insert that here in a second so y'all can kind of see what all is in here and how I kind of like arranged everything um the only thing that I've added since that reel is Cole got um the little story dream projector for Christmas and so I added the trolls books slash like figure here and then also just like this little actual Valentine's Day little like chocolate box thing but everything else is in the reel so i will play that here in a second so you guys can see what all is in here but i'm so excited to give it to him because he's gonna be so excited it's my toddler's little valentine's day basket i'm so excited i've never made him one before i got him this really cute set of stamps this like valentine's sloth window cling set this play foam looks so much fun i'm like probably just as excited as he's gonna be to use it matchbox cars of course we're in our blippy era so this is a little play pack that has like crayons in it and then kind of like an i spy blippy book and then we're also very much in our planets era so these are like some planets and then this is like bouncy balls with planets in them so he's gonna be super psyched about those two things and then this couldn't be more him it's planets and excavators like it this was made for him and then these are just like little almost like kinetic sand they have like little molds in them so i thought that could be a fun little activity not like overly valentine's day ish because i feel like that doesn't make sense like once valentine's day is over so i liked this theme and then this is a little pack of heart post-it notes to put little notes on to put on his door throughout the month and then um, for Emily, I found this at the um, dollar spot at Target. And it's actually so cute. I don't know if y'all will still be able to find it. Because it's like, see how it's called heartfelt. It's like literally felt on all the edges of the pages. So like it's all soft and kind of like fuzzy on each page. And I thought it was cute with like the cutout. And all the pages are like a different little shape and size. And it's just so cute and adorable and girly. So I'm going to give this to her. Obviously, I didn't make her like a whole entire basket okay. can you say good morning good morning oh so sweet mommy, mommy. emmy can you say good morning good morning, good morning. oh bless oh bless the baby bless the baby oh my goodness did you say bless you emmy bless you. a little too big for that stinker I will follow anywhere. If you need me with you, I will follow. Oh, oh. You like the music? I will follow. I'm raising some Gilmore Girls kids. Right, Cole? You love Gilmore Girls? Yeah. You need me to be with you, I will follow. Yeah, but we gotta sing it. Feeling lonely. And so cold. All you have to do is. <laughs> and I'll be there. <laughs> on the next year. <laughs> do you want to do the ABC song? Look, you can look at Chloe. Keep going. <laughs> WX. No, my says nothing. That's me. <laughs> Good job. And what about um, Twinkle Twinkle? You want to sing it? Twinkle Twinkle. Quit 
chewing on everything. Alright, gonna make you some toast. Okay, ready? Let's do it again. Ready? Go, 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 go. Whoa! Good job! Woo! You're good at working out, buddy. <laughs> Ken came home with surprise flowers for me and Emily. Look, it's her first like Valentine's gift from her dad, which I feel like is gonna be so cute to always get little Valentine's from her dad. My dad always brought us home like flowers for his girls on Valentine's Day, so this one's so cute because it has a little bear and this one came in the vase. <gasps> little roses, I'm gonna um, maybe dry these and save them in her little like memory box. So cute, and then these are the ones, which I don't even know the exact name of all these flowers, but I like that these are like not roses, they're kind of different and fun, honey. These are so pretty. Yeah. So that was such a sweet surprise. Like I feel like a lot of times he's not able to surprise us because we kind of know what's going on, but so sweet. And then I already have a label maker, but I got this one off Amazon on a really good deal because this one's a Bluetooth one, so you can make kind of fun, cool different labels. But I should have filmed because I was going through Emily's clothes today and like switching out all her sizes and literally her room looked like her closet exploded. There, You couldn't even see the floor. There was stuff everywhere. But I'm like vacuum packing her zero to three month clothes away, which is so sad. And this label maker is so fun because you can use the app on your phone and just like make cute little designs and stuff. But yeah, I should have filmed in her room because I, she had so many cute clothes I was getting out, so much I was packing away. It was kind of a headache. I'm still not even done yet. <laughs> It was very much an undertaking, but isn't this cute? It's just like Bluetooth, and it's so tiny. You just charge it. I love it. Hey, Coley. Oh, hi, Sankey. Um, Rare Disease Day is later this month, so I got us uh, some like merch from the Association for Glycans and Storage Disease, the AGSD. For us, I mean, obviously this is not just to wear for that day, but this is like why they had a campaign going for very disease day. So I picked up a sweatshirt for Cole, which this will be big on him. I purposely got like a really big size so he can wear this for years to come. I got Ken just like a t-shirt and then I got myself like a big oversized crew neck. Oh, isn't this fun? I mean, it's not fun because obviously GSD totally sucks, but it's like you don't really see obviously anyone talk about this or have stuff like this. So I'm kind of excited for us to get to like rep for him on rare disease day. Okay, we are in, like when I said I wanted to film closet stuff, I kind of meant like in my closet because this is, <laughs> this is where everything is. I don't know when's the last time I filmed in here, but we're in here. The kids are napping. They've both been <laughs> kind of psychos today, so they better sleep for a good long while. But I wanted to just share with y'all, I'm just going to like show you like my top, top favorite things. I think I have mentioned these American Eagle Henleys already. They have them in a couple new colors now, but I'm in love with these. I got these two colors. Believe it or not, I didn't have like a plain white Henley. And y'all know how I feel about this blue color. It's the one I was wearing at the beginning of this vlog. Obsessed. And then actually, I got so many questions about this little like sweater, like cape sort of situation. I wore this on Thanksgiving and then I got a black one, um, which is like folded up, but it's the exact same, but in all black. This is probably like my most requested like for links item of literally all time <laughs> and I know obviously like it's kind of like getting to be the end of like winter and stuff like that so like this might not be particularly relevant stuff but I've been wanting to share I'm obsessed with this it's like a one-size-fits-all thing it's from Kohl's it's the Lauren Conrad collection but this is like one of my favorite pieces like in my closet right now like I said I have an all black version as well I wore it on a Christmas with like a red kind of like turtleneck underneath so cute it's it's not like a total poncho because it does have like sleeves here so like it does you know you do have to put your arms through it doesn't just lay over you but like the collar situation I'll put a picture on the screen here if I can um, find it the collar looks so cute it has pockets it's got like the cute little button it kind of looks like a riding like sort of thing like a horseback riding sort of top I feel like but everyone loved this so many of y'all so many people on Instagram like asked for the link and purchase this I've seen so many people wear it it's really great like if you're pregnant with like a bump because obviously like it just kind of flaps open what I love about it is I've been able to like baby wear with it so easily because I just like put my wrap on underneath of it and then I wear Emily and I can kind of like close it up around her and kind of keep her like warm and closed in like when we're at family events and stuff like this I've worn this numerous times it is so cute all like I said I'm not obviously trying this stuff on because I just kind of wanted to like show y'all but if I have pictures and stuff of me wearing these items I will include them I purchased this from Abercrombie because it's one of their um like sports sweatshirts and they are so soft everyone has like the football 
football team ones of these. I'm sure you have seen. We're not like crazy football people and neither are we crazy about basketball either. But I loved this Charlotte Hornets sweatshirt. I just like thought the print, it was so retro. It's just so cool looking and it is like crazy crazy soft i got a size medium so it's not like super big or anything like that but it's really cozy like really cozy this i'm not gonna be able to link because i got it at like the nike outlet but did y'all know nike made sweaters and stuff like that so random but like i love this so much i've again worn this like numerous times it's got like a really cool like high neckline some cool colors that kind of go into the sleeve it's kind of like almost like inside out stitched too so it just kind of has that sort of like very, I don't know, you know, sort of free people, like just undone sort of look that I love. And then the bottom is so cool. I actually purchased this when I was pregnant <laughs> and it fit me then and it fits really well now, but the bottom is kind of like ribbed and then it sort of just like cuts off right there, if you can tell, and kind of like has a chunk missing out of it. Like it's just sort of shorter on the side. And again, it sort of has like the like inside out reverse stitching so it very much has like that very casual again sort of like free people vibes and it's like a really nice like wool kind of material it is so like it just feels really high quality and it's just like unique and different and it's nike i like had no idea they made stuff like this this vest is like one of my favorite things kind of like speaking of free people vibe i've been wanting the um is it the scouted out I want to say is the name of the vest I've been dying for from a few people and this is basically it but it's from Amazon I don't know if you'll be able to really like get a good idea for what it is but it is just like the perfect like super casual like oversized just like layering piece I've worn this literally so many times okay what is <laughs> it's literally just like the perfect like just slouchy big like layering piece it looks exactly exactly like the free people one but it's obviously a, a million times cheaper but it is like really nicely made like it's got like the fleece but then like kind of this portion and like sort of the lining with the buttons is more like kind of like a nylon sort of feel it's got pockets and then the little um kind of ties can obviously like button it closed i think i got a large in this just so it would be like nice and oversized the back has like this kind of detail which the free people one does as well really really good dupe like really good and actually speaking of another amazon find this won't be for like everyone just because of where you live i guess it would depend but i think i posted about this on instagram but this is the cutest little like t-shirt sweater again it's from amazon it's got like this cute little collar and then it's just sort of like cut off it's got like some stitching there on the ends and then it's kind of just like boxy and flowy i have worn this literally like just like this tucked into like some pants because it doesn't get super super cold down here majority of like the fall and winter but i was also thinking if you do live somewhere colder you could totally layer this up with like a turtleneck or just like a long sleeve and sort of like wear this over it i love this so much it literally just like looks so cute and like kind of a transitional sort of piece i feel like and i love it so much it's so nice because i hate being hot and especially with two kids carrying on a baby all the time i'm usually always hot this is my rory gilmore sweatshirt if you know you know this is actually from target and this is a men's like the goodfellow brand i got an extra large again i've worn this a million times i've posted on instagram i've gotten like a lot of link requests for it it's really really nice like super super big like heavy cable knit so cozy i'm like gonna start buying some more men's sweaters and stuff at target and then i also got this um like hoodie off of amazon and i'm not very much of a hoodie girl I'm very much more of like a crew neck kind of girl but this is a really really nice just like big oversized hoodie and especially being like postpartum which is like well I'm still postpartum now but I bought this like more freshly postpartum and like all I wanted was just like really big just like comfy clothes that would fit you know my transitioning body and be cozy and they have so many different colors in this I kind of liked the neutral vibe because it'll go with anything but this also looks super cute just like tucked under your bra with like some baggy jeans and stuff as you can tell we love cozy and then in terms of like hanging stuff i feel like that's everything here these pants from target well actually these pants from pack sun too these pants from target i have worn the crap out of i don't know if they still have these but these are like one of my favorite purchases of my life so far there are these i'm sure you have seen these i've literally worn them so many times i put them on instagram all the time they're just kind of like sweatpants but they're like cargo sweatpants but they're wide leg and they're super super long which i'm five nine so i need things that are like pretty long and i love these they fit me when i was pregnant like i bought these when i was pregnant they fit me when i was pregnant they fit me so well now they're so comfy i have this um i don't know kind of like beige pair and then i have the black pair and they're both kind of like mineral wash if you can tell they look a little faded but they are so comfortable but they look like kind of normal cargos just because normal cargos are wide leg and all that kind of stuff so they don't like look like sweatpants so i've been wearing them with like this really big chunky um 
H&M sweater. I think I've hauled this previously. I love this sweater so much. I mean, it's like a heavy sweater, but this feels like a $75 sweater but it's from H&M, so it was like, you know, whatever, probably 25, 30 bucks. I don't know if I've hauled this before, but I'm in love with it. It's got like the really chunky collar, super chunky knit, like this will keep you very, very warm. And it's like super just simple, goes with everything. I've been pairing this with like my different cargo pants. I finally like started doing the whole cargo pant thing and I'm very much here for it. I always love my outfits when I style them with cargo pants. This is um, another pair, this is from PacSun. I've been shopping at PacSun a lot lately like a lot more than normal i actually have a pair of pants that i just recently ordered from pax on coming in the mail but these are again just kind of like pull on on like drawstring sort of cargo pants they, they have like back pockets and they have like kind of side pockets and these are also like banded at the bottom so they kind of look like like parachute pants almost like they're very like kind of wide in the leg and as you can tell they're almost like a parachute material like they're like a windbreaker material so they definitely don't keep you warm like I wore this on kind of a cold day and I was sort of regretting it because they don't have any warmth at all but I feel like they'd be nice for like the spring and stuff so again like I've mentioned a million times I'm just kind of like adding things to my wardrobe that are just like different and like interesting like things that I just don't have a ton of in my wardrobe that will be a fun to style and just like add a little more spice to my closet rather than just like more of the same things like more crew necks more you know boring stuff like that so cargo pants are my jam right now um these are kind of along those lines they almost have kind of like a cargo style sort of vibe like they have kind of like the visible pockets here yeah, but they don't have like pockets all the way down them so they're not like actual cargos but they have kind of that look so i got the um green pair and then i also got them in just like the brown pair and they do fit me like lengthwise again which is really nice i think i got them both yeah i got them both in the long length which is what i love american eagle for is that they have long lengths in most things like even their sweatpants a lot of times they have long lengths in so i think these are going to be really fun to style and again just like a little bit different than just wearing leggings and jeans like these are just a little bit of a different option for style and honestly I love the wide leg trend because I just feel like everything wide leg is 10 times more comfortable than anything like tight or fitted so I'm like 1000% here for the wide leg trend I hope it never literally ever goes away I mean oh these leggings I gotta shout out these leggings these are actually the same brand as these flares I don't know if I've mentioned these flares on my channel yet I have mentioned them on Instagram like 300 times and linked them 300 times these are the best like flare leggings of life and I have tried a lot of pairs so like you just need to stop the video now and go purchase these they're from the Sunzel brand on Amazon they're the crisscross waistband but these are the best flares of all time they're like a really nice amount of flare but they have all different lengths I get the the long length I think it's a 34 inch inseam so like whatever length you are or whatever height you are you can have the right length for you because again for me being like 5'9 and change pants are always too short for me and flares if they're too short on you look so so dumb I will not wear flare pants that are like even like slightly like even if they're half an inch too short and they look weird I will not wear them these are so nice and long which is so hard to find plus they're so comfortable they're such a soft like stretchy material they don't move like you can honestly like do yoga and work out in these and stuff because they are like very breathable they move with you they don't roll down they don't like fold over I literally have at this point I kid you not um like six pairs I have this brown I have black I have like a lighter kind of like camel color like a blue like a royal blue kind of like this color I kid you not best flare leggings of your whole life and so I decided to try a pair of their regular leggings as well just like to work out in and I really like these I just shared these on Instagram as well so it's the same exact brand and they have a lot of different leggings so like you'll have to specifically look at the ones that I'm talking about these ones are so nice they're like I don't know they're not even like super super bandexy they're almost like soft like almost a fleece feel which obviously they're not fleece but they're that like soft workout material as opposed to like that really super like sweat wicking sort of like spandexy material they're almost like more of a cotton blend oh they're 75 percent polyester and 25 percent spandex yeah they feel like it they're so soft and comfy but i think because they're not like super super spandexy they stay put really really well and they are so smoothing like on you know your cellulite or anything like that or like on your waistband they just like hug you and support you in just the right way they look just so smoothing on your legs they do not move at all when you're working 
working out. They're just amazing. They are like comfy to work out in, but also just like lounge in like this with a big sweatshirt. So nice and high waisted. Same with the um, flare leggings. They're really, really nice and high waisted, which is important for me. Literally cannot say enough good things about these leggings. I am definitely going to be purchasing some more colors. Another really good pair of flare leggings is the ones from Patina. I have, yeah, I have leggings from this brand and I love their flares. These are um, a, a bit different from those in the sense that these are just like a straight like cotton, like very much like a casual type of flare legging. Like they're definitely not workout type. I mean, I'm sure you probably could, but they are just like cotton. They are super stretchy though and super, super soft. They're more like sweatpant, you know, style sort of flares, but they're super high waisted. And again, they're super, super long, not, not super long, but they're long enough for me. So that that is a selling point for me and again it literally feels like you're not wearing anything when you wear these same with um those leggings like you literally feel naked and that's like kind of my criteria i don't want to have to like adjust it or feel like i'm being sucked in or feel like i need to like move things up and down like i just kind of want to feel like i'm not wearing anything they're so good again i have these now in this like gray color and then also black these i kind of doubt these are going to be available and honestly these were kind of like holiday ish purchases for me but i got some pairs of spanx leggings and these are like the velvet leggings i never even like really knew that they had these but I've seen a couple influencers like rave about them and I thought they were so cute for the holidays. I'm sure they have them in black and like normal colors too. But how cute are these? They are so nice. The inside of Spanx leggings is really, really like smooth and soft and comfy. So these are like very comfy to wear under like sweaters and stuff. I wore them with like kind of things like this, like sort of a nice neutral sweater and then like a pop of like a velvet legging coming out was kind of the vibe for the holidays. I think that's actually what I wore that black sweater with. I wore them with these and then I also got like kind of an olive -y green sort of pair as well so 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 super comfortable and just different like the fact that they're velvet they just have a different texture and they obviously are a different color than just like your standard black leggings I feel like these are gonna be like my holiday go-to pants especially because who wants to wear pants you know for like Thanksgiving and Christmas and stuff like that like I'm just trying to wear leggings y'all when I tell you I'm obsessed with this color I know I've hauled so many things this color but like I cannot stop buying things this color another sweater from Target that I literally cannot get enough of is this one I don't know if they'll still have this available I hope they do I have two colors in this at this point and it's my favorite sweater like that I own right now this is like the perfect amount kind of cropped but also like not overly cropped the like turtleneck situation is just right this color is amazing I love how this fits it's such a soft like cozy material it's just cozy and comfy and then I also have um, this like kind of tan color because it's literally my favorite I had to like stop myself from getting like 450 colors y'all know I'm trying not to just like go completely ham getting a million of like the same thing except for those flare pants no one was gonna stop me from getting those flare pants so i think for now um that's mostly what i wanted to share the other stuff that i have here is like the stuff i've hauled previously and then i have like some sweatshirts and stuff that i got for christmas that i feel like i hauled in my christmas vlog yeah i think that's most of what i wanted to share for the time being i'm sure i will have some more to share in the coming vlogs um but i feel like this video has probably already been forever long and I've shown y'all a lot of stuff. I'll link what I can. Of course, like I said, I've gotten this stuff like over the last while. Like some of this stuff was from when I was pregnant. So we'll see what I can link. But this is some new goodies in my closet. Um, I do have like some other stuff here, but it's not as organized as it could be. So I'll show you guys some other goodies next time. But thank you so much for watching. I hope that y'all enjoyed. I'll have to insert, or maybe I'll just do it in the next vlog. I'll have to show you guys like the final look at the shower once Ken puts like the door handle back on and all that kind of stuff. And it's totally done. So maybe I'll do that in the next vlog. But I hope that y'all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to subscribe would love to have you we have so much fun here and until next time i will see y'all in our next video bye guys